Uh, I'm going to look at uh, some more transformations which lead to some reflections here. Uh, so the graph of y equals f of minus x is the same as the graph y equals f of x reflected in the y-axis. So in other words, if we change this x to a minus x, the graph gets reflected in the y-axis. And if we multiply the f of x by a minus, then the graph gets reflected in the x-axis. So let's have a look at what happens for y equals the square root of x. Uh, we have 0, 1, square root of 2, square root of 3, 2, and square root of 5 here. And uh, minus that just gives us 0, minus 0 is 0. Now we have the point 1, minus 1 on this graph just switches all of the y values to a negative. 2 minus the square root of 2, 3 minus the square root of 3, 4 minus 2, and 5 minus the square root of 5. And if I first multiply the x by a minus and then take the square root, uh, then I can't apply this to positive x. The domain actually changes. And here I have y equals square root of 5 for x equal to minus 5 and uh, we have for x equal to minus 4 I get a y value of 2 x equals minus 3 I get the square root of 3 minus 2 the square root of 2 minus 1 I get a 1 and 0 I get a 0 so what's happening here my basic graph is that of y equals the square root of x and we have the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2 is here. 1 is here. We have the point 1, 1. We have the point 4, 2, 1, 1, etc. And these points in between. And now when I take the graph y equals minus the square root of x, I get the same x values here, but the the y's become negative. So uh, this point, the point one negative one, uh, I get switched to the point. Uh, sorry, the point one one gets switched to the point one negative one. The point four two gets switched to the point four negative two. And so the graph basically just gets reflected in the x-axis. So that's if I replace the x by a negative x. Uh, sorry, if I uh, multiply the entire formula by a negative. If I replace the x by a negative x, I get the graph gets reflected in the y-axis. So that means that the y values remain the same but the x value changes to a negative. And you see this changes the entire domain of this function. Um, I get the point negative 1, 1 is on this graph. I also get the point negative 4, 2 is on the graph. So if I replace the x by a negative x, um, the graph gets reflected in the y-axis, and if I replace f of x by negative f of x, the graph gets reflected in the x-axis.